Hello everyone! Thank you so much for joining us today for this uh, edition of 7F5R Live on Instagram. It is 4th May 2022. Oh no, actually really sunny uh, Wednesday afternoon here in Singapore. I'm Stephanie Jennifer CZT21, your host for today's session. And uh, Debbie New CZT18 and Susan Yu CZT Asia 2 will be joining us as the co-hosts for today's session. Thank you so much for tangling along with us or just hanging out with us wherever you are in the world. First 7F5 for a live session. Usually we use these uh, sessions just to tangle together and hang out and have a great time. Yeah. So you can of course tangle along with us or you can choose to, to just draw and watch what we're drawing. Hi. Hi Debbie. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I don't see Susan online yet. But yeah, while we're setting up, do go ahead and uh, take out your own materials if you'd like to tangle along with us. Otherwise, uh, you can just spend the next hour, hour and a half just hanging out with us and listening to us. Yeah, we see everyone in chat. Thank you so much for joining us today. So we're, uh, I'm streaming from uh, the 7 and 5 Hours Studio Instagram account, that's at 7 Forest 5 Rivers. A recording of this session will also be made available on this account. Debbie is at tangled.pursuits. Susan, who hopefully should be joining us in a bit, she is at susanyo.cct and I at, at halfpen underscore will draw. Yeah? Usually the prompts that we choose for uh, these weekly tangling sessions, they come from the 7F5 by Challenge group on Facebook. Uh, the Tuesday Tangle of the Day prompts are posted obviously every Tuesday. So you can go to this link or just search for 7F5 by Ch Challenge directly in Facebook's search box. But then answer a few questions, security questions to join the group and then you'll be able to see all of uh, our members, beautiful tiles and what they create for each form. Yeah? At the end of today's session, I will also be converting this recording into a video for our YouTube channel. So if you prefer that format, you can of course go to youtube.com slash c slash 7 f 5 studio to watch today's recording. Yeah. So while we wait for Susan to join us, shall we share what materials we're using today, Nebby? Um, I have a lot of things on my desk, so okay. it depends on what you guys are using. Okay. Well, yeah, I am so... using... I would say this is A5. This is A5. This is slightly smaller than A5. So this is an A5 sketchbook, and then you can see the tile is slightly smaller. I have it tinted using Lindy Scan Magicals. Yeah. Hi, so we'll see. We'll see what we create. Hi, Debbie and Steph. Hi, Susan. What materials are you using today, Susan? I'm using the white uh, 7 MFR tiles. Mm -hmm. And together with my uh, standard one, the black micron 01. And also a few pens on the coil watercolor brush. And what about you, Debbie? What will you be using? So if she's using a white towel, then I'll use a colored towel. So, okay. not very fast because I have a lot of uh, different papers here. I might use, um, I have these from like way back. Like I think we bought these um, around the time when we were looking for 7FR tiles to uh, purchase wholesale. So these are like the bigger tiles. So, can you see the, the size difference? So this is like a this is like a regular towel. Let me just get a zentangle towel. So this is like a zentangle towel. And then this one is just slightly bigger. But then it's not as big as the apprentice towel. So I must have had these for like ages. Because I don't remember tinting them. So I, well, 
can grab them and use them today. Okay. So Susan, you picked out today's string. Yes. I want to share it with with all of us. Okay. Well, today's string is uh, very simple because the this today our tangle is bobbin, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So the string will be the B, either the uppercase B or the lowercase B. It's up to you to do that. So for me, I probably want to have a border. You can have it with or without the border. It depends on how's your mood today. I'm going to use the uppercase B. So this probably will separate into fill section. Or you can use the lowercase b. Like what Stephanie did now. Oh, it's nice. Mm. The lowercase b in the mirror. Yeah, I like, I like this. <laughs> so that's about the string. Hmm. Debbie, you have the step outs to Bobbin. Bobbin is a tango yeah. by Jodie Genovese. She's a CZT. So Debbie actually has the step outs available on her Instagram page if you would like to check them out. And she also has them on screen right now. Um yeah, it's it's a very interesting tango, I would say. A little more abstract, right? Yeah. I'm actually using a cursive B. So cursive B, oh, smart. Can see. Yeah, so I'm going to use a cursive one. Yeah, and this is bobbin. So when I first saw bobbin, I was very excited to try it. Uh, and then I got stuck. So I can actually show you my very ugly page. Uh, yeah? The shame so shame. I actually got stuck. Yeah, and then I can't. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know, right? It's really bad. It's the shame yeah. shame. And then I realized where I went wrong. So I, I realized that uh, you know how, it, it reminds me of like washi tape. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But, but because uh, it's in in my brain is kind of like a ribbon tangle, right? Mm. But because in my brain it thinks of it as a ribbon tangle, it sort of like goes like all over the place. So then I realized that the trick is to keep it a little bit straighter. So let me just go back to the step outs. So you see how it goes uh, this way. So you start with lines. So you draw vertical lines. Maybe I should just demo it quickly. So you start with vertical lines of any length, right? And then because in my mind, it's a ribbon. So I will tend to curve it. And that's where it goes wrong for me. Hmm. Yeah, so you can probably vary it later with curves. But when you're first trying out, I would advise you to stick to the step outs and, and not, not be like me. Yeah, basically. So once you've got that four or five, uh, as many lines as you want down, vertical lines, you add a V-shape to the top uh, ones, like this. And then you rotate your towel. And then you add more V-shapes like this. Right? And mm -hmm. then this is the part where I used to get stuck at because I would overthink it. So now I understand how it works because I realize that if you choose the middle one to start on first, what you do is you extend the V lines and then you come down straight like an aura and then you go out again. Right? And then what happens is that it's easier to envision this one going under and then coming back up and then going under. So if you're going under, you can actually stick it out uh, under the taller uh, bobbin or not, or just pretend that it ends there. But I didn't realize that it was so easy at first. I struggled really hard. And of course, after this, you get to embellish uh, however you, you like. So I'm just going to continue these ones. 
So in my mind, right, I don't know why I, I keep thinking of it as a ribbon. And that was my my uh, struggle with it. Uh, it could have gone a lot smoother if I just stuck to the step out in the first place. So this is a classic case of not following the instructions and then having a nasty type. There you go. Okay, so moving over to my towel. Um, I have a cursive B shape. So I, I'll probably pair it with another tangle. So if you can see, it's a very linear, kind of a straight sort of look. And then I have a very cursive. I'm not sure how much you can see. Let me just hold it up a little bit. Can you see my string? It's very faint, but it's there. So my B shape is very cur uh, cursive, and then the tangle is actually very rigid. Or, well, the way I've drawn it is very rigid. But of course, you can also have uh, a curved one, which I began just now, and I didn't continue. So it gets a bit more uh, tricky with a curved one when you're overlapping uh, the edges. But by itself, it's actually quite fun to draw. Right, so that's a curved one. So it depend depend on how much thinking you want to do for today's town. Uh yeah, I guess. So do you wanna talk about your town, Steph? Hmm? What about my town? Yeah, what about your town? My town I, I talked about it already. Lindy tinted with Lindy's gang. I think this might be Lida Hosen Laurel. But I think I added um silver and gold to it. Hmm. So you can see some of the sparkle in it. Yeah, I did the The ball of you have green on your on your desk. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So this team Because we need to have uh, more vegetables Ew. on our diet. <laughs> Are you trying to make a <laughs> To keep us healthy? Or, or you're trying to... Huh? Are you trying to make a, a declaration or a statement of fact? Or you're admitting that you are... Wow, no so really carrot, carrots and veggies <laughs> on the test. Orange and green. <laughs> Is it brown? Mine is brown and green. Yeah. That's brown? Okay, it looks yeah, orange. Yeah, this is brown. Yeah. Actually, I just realized that I draw this tangle wrong. Why? Because okay. yesterday I tried. I, I tried. But then, just now when I saw how they be demo, then I said, oh, Ooh. I realized I made the mistake. Maybe but I think it's okay. Wrong. Maybe huh? wrong. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. That's why. That's why. Just now, I'm looking at the the step out case. <laughs> I I look at the the original step out. Oh, maybe hmm. mine is wrong. Eh? Never mind. There's no wrong or right in the entangle. No mistake. <laughs> happy accident. Just draw it. Yeah, happy accident. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my car. Let me think, ah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, oh, so the ball already gone shape. ahead already. Sorry? So you're supposed to embellish the shape, right? So Jodie actually yeah. in her step ups, she has like little embellishments that she does. Yeah. Actually, just now, my initial plan is that using this uh, brush pen mm -hmm. uh, to draw the tangle instead of using the micron. Mm -hmm. But then, when I realized that mm, this is a tangle that needs a lot of focus, then 
Forget it. <laughs> Give up. Yeah, forget it. Next time, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to mess up my towel. <laughs> I thought you said no mistake. <laughs> yeah, the boy, But yeah. still... <laughs> yeah. Mountain, right? Mm. It's very mountain. <laughs> Don't overthink the process. I decided to pair it with Braven Sword. I don't know how it will come out, but we'll try. So is it because it's a very high focus tangle, that's why you all are so quiet to me? No, you haven't <laughs> asked questions, ma. Yeah, so I'm giving you all some time to oh. get into the mm. flow, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want, I can start asking questions. <laughs> no problem. I'm okay. I go ahead for a question. Okay, I have... I have five mm. questions. Mm. You all want to choose one to five or should I just go with the easiest one? You choose, huh? Okay, I choose the last one. What is no, your what favorite we... Zentangle Bijuism? Yo, must go like dig what, up. <laughs> what is bijuism. your favorite? Yeah, you should. Then you should Zentangle. display all the ones that let us choose. <laughs> What? Because you want us to choose, right? So you, you do you have it with you or you just take few then we <laughs> I cannot remember all eh? Oh my goodness. So I have to find the question, I have to find the option, then I have to give Yeah the multiple, multiple choice. choice. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, I have it I have it here. Oh it's quite a long list. You have it. Okay, that is that is breathe, admire, appreciate. Deconstruct, focus, slow down, deliberate strokes, reflect, beautiful and beyond, embellish, relax, enjoy the shade, no mistakes, inspire, comfort, come out of your shell, savor, discover, trust, create, the strings, the thing. Choose your tangles and enjoy. Oh, that is very long. Yeah, it is very long. Quite a list. I think I like the simple ones. Mm-hmm. Like the single word ones? I think I like slow down. Because mm. that one I really need to do all the time. I like the one that is that the one that come out from a shell? Yeah, come out from a shell. I find that one. Yeah, so I find that one is very interesting. And yeah, very cute. Because the snail, right? Need to come mm. out. I have some suntan. No, <laughs> because you know, when I, you know. when I heard... <laughs> no, no, no. There's a... There's a... Uh, is it... Just last time when at my home, right? I have this kind of snail without the shell. Oh, so I, I, I can't... Oh, I don't know what's the... Huh? Slug. What's the name? Ah, a yeah. The one... The... Snail is a slug. <laughs> what so, a snail when, when I, yeah. so the first time when I say, I, I, I tell my husband, hmm, how come where is the shell? <laughs> then just now you say that if they come out. <laughs> yeah. So actually to me, right, that uh reminds me that come out from a comfort zone. Mm. But sometimes we are too comfortable in our shell and feel it's very protected and very secure. But sometimes we need to um come out a little bit while a while then so that to to uh have different kind of experience. Uh, this is something that I find is, is interesting. Do you think that the pandemic has made us more uh cautious? Yeah. And I I uh, believe that some of the people is still uh, live under that situation. So they have uh they are quite worried when they go up. And mm. maybe they will choose not to go out too frequent. 
uh, because uh, almost two years, then people already get used to it. Yeah, but for those some people, they still uh they prefer to go out. Then definitely they will just <laughs> like when the borders open, a lot of people just go. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I think I see it people, slightly yeah. differently. Like, mm. I mean, you know, you know how you are saying that some people feel like they are not used to going out, right? But some for some people, it's mm. a immune system issue. So if you yeah. have low immunity, right? Uh, you may want to go mm. out, but then you feel that there's a very big risk for you, lah. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no choice, lah, because now is the the situation that the virus is still everywhere and since all the SOP already um, loosened, then maybe some of the people with low immune system like uh, sick people or maybe elderly, then they still need to take care of themselves. Yeah, uh, because actually, right? There is no choice. Uh. Yeah, because mm. sometimes it's better to sort of take precaution than just, you know, yes. just because it's opening up, uh, uh, right? Then everybody also want to go out, mm. right? So, yeah. yeah, and and it's it's also because uh we've been isolating for a long time. So even the flu bug now is also changing. You know, it, it maybe you don't yeah. catch COVID, but you can catch something else. That's what I'm trying to say. So like you know, mm. hand foot and mouth, all these things, right? It used to be very common before the uh pandemic and everything. So because mm. people have been isolated and everything, right? So the the viruses also start to change, right? The regular virus also is changing. So as a result mm. of that, right? Sometimes uh, a common cough and a cold, right? It's actually harder now for for people uh to get over some of them, um with lower mm. immune systems. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to put on our invisible shell, <laughs> our immune system mm. protection. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just like our mask la, we have to <laughs> pandemic bijuism yeah man mm. <laughs> yeah I like I slow like... down because I, I like I feel like oh, yeah, I'm sorry. constantly <laughs> rushing mm. so I feel that even even in my day to day life when I'm supposed to have like an off day right sometimes um, it just so happens that I have to work as well and it's opposite to what my family is doing because my family doesn't work on weekends so it's very difficult sometimes to try to plan time to rest mm. yeah sorry continue I like the visualism reflect because I think it's a good reminder for me to reflect on what I'm doing. To take stock of my life. Mm. It's a... Because like visualism is kind of like... You, things that you need to be aware of. Or things that you need to add to your life, right? Mm. So that's the visualism that I like. I wouldn't say that a visualism is something that you add to your life. Or something that... You know, it's like a reminder. Well, you can say it's like a reminder, but I think it's more like, you know, you know how uh, we have things like idioms and then we have things like uh, catchphrases. So Zentangle Inc. Uh, came up with, um, is it 29? If I'm not mistaken, or is it some other number? <laughs> but yeah, there are 20 over. La. I just remember that there are 20 or more. And uh, they labeled them Bijuisms after... Uh, a character called Biju the snail. Yeah. So the idea is that, you know, um because because the I the whole idea about Zentangle is that you sort of slow down and you feel the, the rhythms that you know are calming you when you draw. So these are these are catchphrases that um Zentangle in feels that is in line with uh, the art method of Zentangle. Yeah, so basically, it's kind of like, it's kind of like saying that, oh, I identify with a certain phrase, you know? It's not so much that you need to change or something, but more like, you know, you use that as an inspiration for yourself, right? Mm. Yeah. 
to me, right, that one is some kind of like the reminder. Mm. Actually, everyone, we know that we need to breathe, we need to slow down when we are busy, we need to do this and that. But we have, we know, we know a lot of things, but sometimes we need, maybe like, we need someone to tell us that, okay, uh, uh, maintain your, uh, maybe slow down a little bit or breathe more. So that is something like a reminder. We already know that we need that, but we, uh, sometimes we forget about this. So we need someone who remind us. So maybe with this visualism, the word is something like uh, reminding us. Yeah, I guess you can call it a reminder if you, are, if you mean it in that sense. La. <laughs> but I will say mm. it's like a piece of advice, you know, because there are some circumstances yeah. you really cannot, cannot, um, yeah, you really cannot take that, the kind of advice. Like, you know, for example, let's say you have, yeah. a, you have a business deal and you slow down other people's deal idea with you. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. Not everything, but most things. Right? Mm. So it's pertaining to ha- to 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 self care, I suppose. Right. Mm. Then they got Bijou. Bijou fun fact. So Bijou is the snail character, right? They basically is entangled in the mascot. Then little there's a little fact sheet about Bijou. Then one point that I like is uh, male or female. Yes, <laughs> because snails are both male and female. So is male or female? Yes. So cute. Or the above. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to pick the next question because every time I pick the question, people start to grumble. So, I shall let y'all pick the question. Who grumble? Don't know? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Who ah? Hmm. Who grumble? Don't know? Don't know. Yeah, Who's don't know. Biggest pick... mystery ever. Hmm. Okay, question number one. <laughs> oh, we go backwards question now. One. Okay, complete this sentence in the funniest, but, but it has to be an honest way. La. So you complete this sentence in the honest but funniest way possible. Okay? Zentangle mm. is... Okay, fill in the blank. Funniest answer. Mm. I need to think. I also need to think. Maybe for those who join this live session, you can give your answer in the comments. So that's <laughs> okay. then we can oh, we, oh, yeah, we can refer. <laughs> yeah, borrow, borrow. Maybe we, maybe we just borrow and uh, read it out so that we no need to come out. <laughs> you very lazy. Eh? Yeah, I know you will say that. You very lazy. Hmm. these ladies always like that. <laughs> Oh, really? It's so quiet, y'all. Everything. Usually, they are very noisy, you know? <laughs> yeah, so okay, I'm telling I answer the, first. the audience that usually you are very noisy. But when, ask, mm. when you have questions to answer, you are very quiet. Because yeah, you need to think. Uh, Before mm. you forget your answer, please go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, okay, if... Going to the direction of a funny answer, right? Mm. Zentangle uh, is like ice cream. Huh. Mm. Why? I might not taking it every day, mm. but I will miss it. Oh. <laughs> then when I taste it, I have a lot of flavor. Flavor with like different uh, tangles that I can choose from. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
And it is good to take during the hot day because it cool me down. And sometimes I, I really, uh, there's a time that I went to uh, like the Genting Highland or Japan during the winter time. It's cold. And normally people will say that during the cold time, you don't take ice cream or whatever, right? But there's a time that my friend asked me that you should try. It's quite, it's very interesting, the, the feeling. So I take it then. Mm, it's good. So no matter if it's a hot day, sunny day, rainy day, you can have this uh, Zantanga ice cream <laughs> if you like. Zantanga ice cream. <laughs> Zantanga ice cream. If Zantanga was an ice cream flavor, what would it be? It would be like sesame, black and white. Okay, the sesame is the the uh, basic <laughs> the Zatanga one on one class black and white. <laughs> hmm. Then slowly you will you, you will go to the so called the rainbow color mm, mm, mm. ice cream mm, with a lot of uh, color. Mm. Very good. Mm, very good. <laughs> Zatanga is. Um. Zantango is doing the same thing again and again. <laughs> but no, like, I don't actually believe that. Nah. But it's quite funny because there is the, the basics to it, right? Or that you will repeat often, hopefully, if you're doing it as a practice. Doing the same thing again and again. I like Susan's answer. Very few ice cream. The VUA, your, I, your I answer? I can think of a lot of things, but they're not exactly funny. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Actually, the funniest thing that I can think of is that Susan was saying that she has too many tangles and they are like her children. Because she has to name them. <laughs> and, and call the wrong name. Struggles, she struggles with the naming process. Yeah, so that mm. that was probably the funniest. Um, uh, so Zentangle is like naming children. <laughs> but you didn't deconstruct every day, right? I don't know. That one is Susan, what? Not me, what? <laughs> Susan got deconstruct every day. Yeah, Susan got deconstruct. No, nah. okay, of course yeah. not. I'm not, I'm not already it's so struck already so struggle to name the child. You still want to give yourself <laughs> headache no. every day? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe this will come out another uh, occupation, a job. <laughs> Naming the tango. <laughs> yeah, I want to check money. So Debbie, you want to have this? Yeah, you can make it your occupation. <laughs> But nobody paying me. Then charge money. So, 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 they always ask me to help them name things, right? And then I always joke that, okay, I need to start charging uh, a fee, right? But nobody pays me anyway, so, yeah. Because, so, because you do not have a name card, do not have a name card that with that job title. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, so you cannot get paid. Mm. So, you add it in. So, you tell people, I'll charge money. If I do that, then you have to start paying me, eh? Mm. Okay, <laughs> let me think. How should I pay you? <laughs> Debbie got coffee account. Then, got then Koji I'm, not, also. I'm not. I'm not Stephanie. Where Koji. you pay sourdough, then I am happy. You know, happy. Yeah, that's yeah. why I have to that to, one is, to that one think is of. Only. Mm. Yeah. So so. So how much is your fee? Must discuss privately later. Yeah, I must think about it already. Mm mm. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe you 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 say here. Maybe there's other CDT also will yeah. engage you I don't have that to many do many this. Eh. <laughs> yeah, and I I my life is very full with uh, a Stephanie and a Susan in my life. May not have room for for more. Why is Annie so quiet? <laughs> I say my life very full with Stephanie and then both disappeared. Mm. Keep quiet. Why? 
right. It's a good thing, lah. I'm praising y'all, lah. Y'all take up a big chunk of my life, eh. <laughs> okay. Choose another question. You are left to with two, three, list. and four. To go down the list, lah. Question two, ah, is it? Hmm. Okay, this one is quite simple also la. Okay, I think I think right, uh most of us have more than one answer. Or rather a few of us will have more than one answer, I think. Or maybe all of us actually. Okay, so what is your favorite Lindy's Gang Magicals colour? Easy right? Yo, easy one also you all like that. Not easy also like that. Ayah. I I have one but I don't know what colour it's called. Wait, hold on. How can it be your favourite colour then you don't know the name? This is worse than not knowing the colour's name. Just I just just <laughs> just discovered it. How do you just discover it though? It's in the office. Cause never use. I like Lara's Wow Mouth. Lara's Wow Mouth? What? Yeah. She's a cursing people. Wow Mouth. No, no, Wow Mouth. Oh, Mouth. Mouth? Mouth? Mouth. <laughs> Goodness. So, yeah. I think for me, right, I like uh, Tiffany Loose Blue. And what's that colour called? There's one more that I like a lot. So I think that there's Delphinium Turquoise as well, which is quite pretty. Mm-hmm. And then I like the Summer Break uh, colours. Um, I think Summer Break has the best uh, colour combination in any pack. And then, I like Bavarian Blue. And so, Bavarian Blue as well. Bavarian Blue. Oh my goodness. Bavarian. We purposely went. <laughs> no, this is, this is how the, the colour that I picked looks like. It's just like a nice lilac with interesting... Pinks and blues. That's why I it like doesn't it. look very nice on screen eh. Oh, poor thing. Is it the lighting or what? Maybe. Actually, I think I have one here that you made. Mm-mm. Yeah. You probably have one. This one. This one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, correct. Another colour that is nice is the the one that's inside the Victorian bouquet. So it's like a purple. But the shimmer is a the mica inside is a teal shade. What's it called, Steph? Victorian bouquet got a purple. Purple me? Yes. Uh let me see. I think I have it with me. This one. What's it called? Sweet Violet Purple Tea. Oh. Uh, so it's like a pink purple with um, peel shimmer in it. Susan eh? I do not have a specific colour that I like, but I like all the blue and purple series. I thought you like the black mm. forest. No. Oh. She's seen already after her class. Okay. Mm. Okay la. Then I, I then I like a lot. Huh? Can no. I just choose one or two? Very From zero BD, you right? a lot, eh? No. Because you remind me of the black forest black. That's why I, I only remember the blue and the purple. How do you forget the red color? Class? <laughs> huh? How do you forget <laughs> on class? Mm. 
you know, very bad, right? Pick up the wrong child from school. <laughs> I, I, I need, need to reflect, do <laughs> reflection, compassion. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, forgot your name. Then but I that, have huh? two other. Then I have two other people can always remind me my, the name of my child. So, I'm really Ayo. grateful. Ayo. <laughs> <laughs> so if I pick up the wrong one, you still can help me to pick up it's from like, school. Then, then if we remind you, then who's gonna remind us? Hmm. Since you can remind me, which means that you all have a good memory, right? So you do not need anyone. It's, it's, like like that one time. it's like that one time, then we are out. Then I say, oh, Susan, look, that plant looks like Grohita. And then she's like, huh? I'm like, Grohita. And she's huh? like, huh? A lot of question marks. Yeah, and then I'm like, Grohita, your tango? <laughs> the one who like plant? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Okay, so what's the next next question? Why was today you all so fast, ah? Huh? Mm. I thought usually we talk a lot of nonsense. I thought today we are so quiet, ah. And we went through three questions already, eh? You can draw faster, quick. <laughs> wow, you all very fast today, eh? Okay. Because I think maybe because your question today is uh Easier. straightforward. Mm. Ayo, if I put the difficult one, you'll complain. Then if I put the easy one, also you're like, I am very, very not complaining. No, we we not complaining. You just ask why, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I shall <laughs> ask a slightly more difficult one. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah, Susan, this is your, your fault. <laughs> Yeah. What oh, no. is your best personality trait? Did someone tell you? How do you know it's your best? Why oh. is it the best? Yo, <laughs> this this best. question got three parts. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't we Remember tell Susan. each other's traits? Huh? Shouldn't we tell e- about each other's traits? Wouldn't that make more sense? You must be self-aware Which is your best trait Okay Susan What's your best trait That you oh. know how to make sourdough bread <laughs> Ayo <laughs> It's a joke It's a joke <laughs> I think a good one I can be very quiet oh. To listen to others oh. Then sometimes I can be very Talkative And make People Ask me to Stop it <laughs> People ask you to stop talking, one. Uh, no, 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 really right? I think only my Isaac. No, Isaac. Isaac asked you to stop talking. Especially when uh, when I talk while he's uh, watching the YouTube, then he will say, "Mommy, so noisy, <laughs> so noisy, this mama." <laughs> yeah. No. Then I tell him, cannot, I'm talking to Papa. I can talk softly, so- softer, but cannot ask me to shh. <laughs> Yo, hmm. then, then when he's naughty or when he's noisy doing the live show or what, then you tell him to shh. Then how? So now he practice on you, is it? No la. Normally, I, uh, during the live, he is sleeping. Oh. Otherwise, you you will hear him a lot of noise. <laughs> How is that? How is that your best personality trait? Ah? Flexible. Lor. No, no. So, so then, <laughs> I can't be with... How do you know it's your best trait? Why is it the best? I said to her. <laughs> so, so your, your best trait is flexibility. La, not being able to keep quiet. La, is it? Yeah, la, it's the flexibility. La. Yo. Yeah, we're easy going person. Mm. Actually, uh, I'm not very sure what is my best trait also. Eh. Because uh, when I was um okay, so so when I worked last time, 
Um, my best trait is actually project management. And I can manage uh, teams. Uh, and then, um, so basically people pay me to run projects. Right? And then uh, create timelines and then stick to deadlines. And this kind of thing are very good at, you know. So did someone tell me, yes, someone tell me, which is last time when I work, my bosses or my colleagues, they like the fact that I can plan an event or I can plan a project and the timeline is very good and everything flows well. Lah. So basically, right, I thought that that was my best trait. Uh, project management is my best trait. But when I came to this team, Suddenly, um, the team like revolt uh, when 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 it's like the timeline, you know, and then, and then and then it's it's a it's like very different kind of a working style here, with the team, right? So I don't know whether it's the best shit anymore. What do y'all think? Who revolt? You ah? We gonna start a revolution, eh? Viva la Republic! <laughs> Uh, I think before. So I don't know whether it's my best trait anymore, la. My point is, mm. uh, is is the best trait I have because I used to do it very well. Mm. Then my my teams will always complete their projects. My interns will always complete, you know. And then even my interns, their project also will complete, la, Basically, when they're with me, so not sure. How it translates to now, maybe it's no longer my best trait. Mm. So, Steph, what's yours? Why is Sally so quiet? Oh. What's my best trait? But I do agree with Susan that her trait, her best trait is that she's very flexible. Uh. Yeah. Not so much of quiet or not quiet. Uh. I think that one yeah. is also important. I think she's more of saying it as an example uh, of, of her easygoing nature. Mm. Maybe my best trait is that I'm genuine. Then, cause a lot of people pull up front, but I think for me it's more of like I'm an open book, so what you see is what you get. But I remember when I was younger, I used to think like, oh, if you're honest with someone, you need to be like blunt with them. They got no concept of like social appropriateness, so then people I used to um look look. Some people for how blunt I was, but then as you grow older, you you get to know what's appropriate and what's not. And uh, I'm I'm getting better at that. Yeah, but I still think I am quite genuine. Mm. Why is it the best? Mm. I remember my husband like saying. Um, finding genuine people these days is, is a, a lot more difficult because people want to present themselves in a certain way or they're afraid that other people will not accept them or for who they are as a person. So I think, I think um, and I also try to surround myself with people who I can trust, whose opinions I can trust, who I know like they're not like saying, like I remember Debbie telling me once, you know, your friend's are the ones that will tell you hard truths, right? Your your enemies won't want to tell you hard truths because they don't want Maybe to Maybe I'm telling truth. you all lies, eh? Yo. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I never know. 
<laughs> yeah, but but I think I think that's true, lah. Like, if if you want to have like genuine friendships that last, you need to make sure that the people that you're surrounding yourself with, number one, they have your best interests at heart, and number two, they they are willing to be honest with you about 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 things, lah. So I think my gen genuineness is that word is is my best trait. Mm. So you are not mau pai, mau pai, not counterfeit product. Yes, the yeah. original <laughs> Stephanie with um, uh, what's it called? A- authentic authenticity card. Yes, yes. OG. Signed, signed, and uh, <laughs> stamped. What your birth cert is it? Can <laughs> sure. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I mean, yes, that's quite that's quite true though. Like all of our authenticity certs <laughs> are our birth certs. Is that that's a so real funny. human? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stamped <laughs> by the government. We are human beings, not not fake ones. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Ah. Yeah, we're just joking. Please, please don't be offended. <laughs> yeah, we've known each other for a very long time now to be able to talk like that. Yeah, so, uh, although we've only partnered, uh, Steph and I have only partnered for about four years, and Susan about one year plus. So actually, I've known Steph since she was nineteen, so that's quite some time ago. If you consider that she's now twenty seven this year, mm. Mm. actually, I don't know what to do with my towel. Oh, what? Yeah, I, I was, I was looking up yeah, just to I'm see like, like what you guys are doing. <laughs> what is Susan doing? Susan, explain <laughs> your towel, please. <laughs> Don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I think the bobbin, the the bobbin is only in the middle here. Ah, Ooh, be careful. I find something. I find something interesting about this tangle. Which is I just want to draw something like the, is it a fescue? Mm. Then, uh, continue with some aura. Then it become like a flower rose. Mm. I like it very much. Maybe I will jot down the the steps. What was the tangle's name? Oh, draw. it's your own one. You one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether is there any so tangles, cool. something like that. Yeah, then she's going to make mm. us name it. Eh. So, so don't ask mm. questions really. Then she really make you name <laughs> no, it again. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think maybe there's some tangle, tangle really exists. Not, sh- not very sure. Actually, it looks like yeah. Stephanie's, one of Stephanie's tangles. One of my tangles? The one is a lot of blocks. What are they called? You go, is it? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ah, look so different. What's the name? Version. Maybe. Uh, it's interesting yeah, Maybe later you can, you can share with me. Mm. I, I, was going to say, no, I was going to say that Jodi, Jodi Genovi is the, the creator of uh, Bobbin. She actually named it Bobbin because it's like the, the Bobbin thread. You know the thing where you like tie off the thread around the little plastic shape. Bobbin. Plastic shape? Plastic, plastic. Made of plastic that shaped in a very weird, I don't know, it's a very unique kind of shape. Then I was going to say that like, Susan's, that, that round round tangle, look a bit like spools of thread. So, I thought that was quite interesting. Debbie, your town, man. Eh? How come your camera went for a little swan dive? Yeah, I don't know. My camera fainted. <laughs> so I also don't know what to too, do. Too much yeah. nonsense already. Yeah. Okay, what, your town? Yeah. I don't know what to do with it actually. So I'm still thinking. It's brave and sort with with bobbin coming out from it. Yeah. Look like the the present, you know, you stick the little bowl on it. Decorative bowl. Looks a bit like that. I guess. I guess. I think I'm not used to this towel because uh, I'm holding a zero five, so it's very thick. And then and then this towel doesn't have a lot, a lot of space, so I feel it very fast. 
Mm. Well, I'm not complaining. It's just that I'm not used to it, lah. For me, I use the Tango Flux Echo, and I think this is oh, what's this? What's the Tango's name? I can't remember already. Well, yeah, but it's uh, Zira. It's an, ah, thank you very much, Zira. <laughs> it's Zira. <laughs> Yeah, that's Zira, right? Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. I put yeah, little bijou over here. I thought I got it wrong. Cute, ma. It's a, it's a cute name. I'm laughing at the name. <laughs> giraffe. There is a giraffe at the Singapore Zoo called Mako. What's the link to the topic? Because yeah. <laughs> giraffe, <laughs> ma. So random. No, I remember because one of my friends, like, she's obsessed with the, that giraffe. She says the cutest giraffe she's ever seen. I'm like, okay, I think all giraffes look the same, but can. So from that day on, I always remember that the boy is giraffe at the Singapore Zoo. His name is Mako. Yeah. Why is he a cute giraffe? I don't know. She's a, it's a he, it's a he, by the way. I don't know why. Yeah, so why is he a cute? I don't know. I think he what? Oh, I heard she. (laughs) Sorry. I don't know why Marco is considered more cute. Then she says she goes to other zoo. She also also feel that Marco is the cutest giraffe. I'm like, oh, okay. I think that they all look the same, but sure. Maybe to her, it got difference. Yeah, what's the difference? Did she tell you? No, she didn't tell me. Is it a baby giraffe? No, it's not. It's a full grown. That's why it's cute. No, it's a full grown giraffe. Oh. It's just that he's the boy giraffe in the, the zoo. Just because it's a boy, then it's cuter, is it? I don't know. But she got see other giraffes in, in different countries' zoo, but she still thinks that Marco looks the cutest. Okay, anyways, we're going way off point. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> giraffes <laughs> and how <laughs> cute they are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, we got one last question. Very fast, huh, today? Mm. Mm, okay, chop, chop, this question talk. is a bit difficult. Okay, good that we end on it. <laughs> okay, this question, right, you have to decide. Maybe I should do it this way. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Susan, you one <laughs> Sounds <person>. difficult. <laughs> Part one, part two. Eh? Hi, yo. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't ask. I don't ask. Okay, come, come, come. Okay, Susan. We accept the challenge. Come. You ask. Okay, <laughs> you choose one person. You choose either no. Stephanie mm. or Debbie. And then Stephanie, mm. you choose either Susan or Debbie. And Debbie will choose either Susan or Stephanie. Okay? Then what if two people choose the same? Then the person okay. got, got to own up. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so you want us to choose before you ask the yes. question? Yo. Yes. Okay, I choose Stephanie. Yo, like that one. This, I, this is a very unfair. <laughs> this is, is Daniel here? Daniel, our last partner. Maybe he can <laughs> choose different. Maybe today, uh, he, Break maybe out. he has this feeling better to join today. Yeah, man. Oh, I, saw him, I, saw him, I saw him coming in just now. the local he... <laughs> um okay la then um then I shouldn't choose Susan in the hopes that each of us will choose one, right? So I'll choose Debbie. But I will choose Stephanie. Eh? What kind of rubbish? <laughs> <laughs> this is nonsense. I, I I connection very bad. I, I I'm leaving. <laughs> Stephanie plans so well and now Debbie yeah, <laughs> don't give such response. Like that more fun what? Uh, okay, 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 what's I part two? <laughs> okay, so Susan <laughs> So Susan chose Stephanie, right? Susan chose Stephanie. Stephanie chose uh, Debbie, right? Yes. So Debbie 
wanted to choose Stephanie but got violent objection. <laughs> <laughs> so Debbie has to choose the right? Uh. Mm. Okay, so you have to ask that person one question that you never asked before. Oh. Yo, that's very difficult. Okay, so Susan have to ask Stephanie one question that you never asked before. Stephanie have to ask Debbie one question that you never asked before. This one very difficult because she asked Debbie everything, yeah, everything my God. possible already. <laughs> yeah, so this she chose the wrong person. Right? Yeah. <laughs> This time, uh, connection very bad. And then sorry, I sorry. will ask Susan a question that I never asked before. Okay, okay. Well, it's not too bad. Can can. One of okay, you should go first. I still need to think. Oh. Okay, I think I have my question. Okay. Okay, Stephanie. Mm. So how? Uh, oh, question. Let me frame it. Mm, uh. Okay. Mm. How you see yourself in the next 10 years? Maybe 10 years after. You are, now it's too old, too, too. No, 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 no. Maybe you can have an interesting one also, can. So, so 10 years, someone after 10, 10 years. Mm. Yeah, she's <laughs> giving her difficult question. And then hers is like, wow, 10 years. Eh. You know why? You know why? This is the, this is the a topic you that... Uh, <laughs> no, this one is that you can have a, like a dream. Then, uh, like, okay, maybe after 10 years, I want to see uh, uh, Susan in, which is huh? it's a different Susan, or maybe how I want to see myself in the 10 years after this. Oh, 10 years. Maybe you can, like, say that maybe after 10 years, I can see myself uh, to become a lecturer or speaker. Lecturer. To have a one... <laughs> Uh, maybe so like Susan, uh, I have a, very big dreams uh, ten thousand students. Ten. You can have a big dream, and yeah, not yeah. not not necessarily to be the logic one. Oh, it can be a very interesting. I, yeah, I joke, I joke yeah, with, something like that. I joke with Debbie that I come from a, another planet. That's why I'm so weird. So maybe <laughs> I will can find my home planet someday. So maybe I will be an astronaut. <laughs> no lah, like, joke joke answer. Ten years from now. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, she said we give her a very difficult question. Eh. But I think yeah, my God. the first one, you know. Yeah, my God. 10 years. It can be very really interesting one. 10 years. Well, I, we have... we Seven and Five Studio does have current plans that I shall not dive out. To go to the moon? To go to not the to go to the moon. Nah. <laughs> that we talked about <laughs> the team meeting. Nah. Yeah, so those are interesting plans. And then maybe maybe we can expand more. Um, I, I think... Uh, some of you might know that 7FIR a while back we were looking for interns so then maybe we, we are have... still looking yeah yeah we are still looking you can send your resume in to us if you if you are interested but anyways that's not the point of the que- this question the point of this question is maybe <laughs> we will expand <laughs> to other countries so we have partners rather than interns we have partners across other countries um Maybe we have different branches of our studio in different countries. Hmm. Maybe very good. Maybe our team will grow large enough that we would be able to have multiple CZTAEs or even like other oh. events, like multiple events. Because <laughs> right now it's manpower shortage, right, right? We can only manage that much. But if our team expands, then our capabilities will also expand, right? Maybe, hmm, maybe we'll expand to doing other projects. So it's not just Zen Tango things. And there are projects in the works currently that will expand our Don't world. give away so much, ah. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we are expanding. So it's not, it's not, it's not far fetched. It's not far fetched. Is what I mean. But I'm not gonna like tell everyone what we're doing. <laughs> At least don't. Yeah. But basically, yeah. 10 years, a lot of things can happen. In like 3 years, so much happened. So, I'm quite sure. 10 years. It's not 3 years, it's 4 years. Okay, la, 4 years. Yeah, technically we crossed already the 4th year, right? Yeah. Yeah, 4 years, so much happened. We already expanded one partner. So, things surely will get bigger. Yeah. 
Miss Susan, can I ask you the same question? Like, not not yeah, related you, to you, this. You, 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 you I know I'm supposed to ask you. I I know I'm supposed to ask you, okay, but I'm just like curious. Time, no, I'm just curious oh, okay, about like her go, answer. Go. I'm just I'm curious about her. She likes me, that's why she asked me this question. <laughs> she wants to know. She wants to know my 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 vision. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So that after I tell you, then you must be part of in this <laughs> dream. Whoa. You know, you cannot escape. You know. <laughs> what lock in? <laughs> yeah, lock in. <laughs> sign sign the sign the ten years contract. <laughs> so scary, right? What's that all about? She holding me hostage. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're stuck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, continue. <laughs> continue what? What's your oh, plan? my answer. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I hope that uh, after 10 years, right, I was still actively uh, in the Zentangle community and also the Neurographical. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's your only then, thing. like what Stephanie, mm, and also like what Stephanie says about the expansions, mm. uh, is is uh, something very good, and mm, feel so excited. Two o two two and two o three two. Wow! Mm. Oh my God. How old? <laughs> Ten years contract signed You're by Debbie? Stephanie and Debbie. Yeah, I, didn't <laughs> anything, uh. I I say first, uh, I didn't say anything. You know, you know that day, right? Someone, uh, someone actually told me about CZTAE 2023. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I remember. Ah, I am not at the point. I haven't even started the 2022. You were at 2023. Okay, you go lah. Mm. One self. One self, go. Go. Organize it. I'm still thinking eh for for the question I want to ask Susan. Hey, no ah, uh. now is now is the turn Stephanie asked Debbie, right? Mm. Oh, I think I think I chose I chose Stephanie also. Then she tell me cannot choose her again, so she made me choose you. Otherwise, I answered two questions, so not fair. <laughs> mm. Mm. Now, now she made you answer two questions. Maybe you didn't hear. I, I have, I have, I have a, a stupid question to ask Debbie. Ayo, are you sure you never asked before? <laughs> no, no, I don't think I've asked before. Uh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Huh? Maybe I did. It's, it's related to your cats. Go like that one ah. Hey, you can reuse the question one ah. Okay, then I also may- reuse for Susan now. May- maybe I did. Maybe I did. Like. On a, in a private discussion, maybe I did. So my my question that like first popped into my was can we get one or not? I can 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 can, can, can can If 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 you can remember <laughs> telling me before, you can share with everyone and then you can reject hey, them. Hey, my reject. I think of another one. Eh. I think of another one. Like, it's okay. Oh, okay. So my question is. Like to ask questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pick your brains. <laughs> like a zombie. No. So you have two cats. One is Delise. The other one is Dexter. Uh-huh. If they are not named Delis and Dexter, what would their names be? <laughs> mm. I know that I know like... that I know what? that Delis picked her own name. Then Dexter didn't really care, so yeah, you choose Dilly's his name. When, when she came, right, we give her we gave her a bunch of names to choose, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. basically, everything on the list, right? We were okay with having the name, you know. So I mean, Mm-mm. we had a list, lah, and then. Everything that was on that list was okay with us. So we just wanted to make sure it was okay with her. I am curious uh, how you let him pick the name. Of course. Huh? How you let her pick them? Yeah. No, no, no. It's oh. different. Okay, you see, uh, Delis will pick her name. Dexter don't know how to pick the name. So actually, it's different for different cats. It may hmm. not work for another cat, if you know what I mean. So hmm. when Delis came, uh, we tested, so we wrote out one list of names that we like, okay? And then mm. they are basically sounds, uh, not so much of what the name means, you know? So it's basically uh, based off of like uh, how the word sounds more than the actual spelling or the meaning behind the name. Does that make sense? So it's just an audio mm. uh, 
thing la. It's a phonetic so chaos. Because, yeah, yeah. So because we, we didn't want to have like a very uh, heavily conceptualized name. Mm. Can you hear that? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay, I paused for a while. I cannot even hear myself. <laughs> but it's not as bad today. Yeah. No, no, the other day was worse. The whole house was rattling. Today is not so bad. Really. Yeah, so okay, for, for Dilly's, right? So we decided to go with this uh, sound, Dilly's, uh, because she was the one that chose uh, to respond to this name the most. So every, every name that's on our list, right, we randomly call her uh, with the name a few times. So there was another name that she showed some interest to, but not as consistent as uh, the response we got when we call her Didi. So we call her another name also, oh. and other names also. But the response is not so fantastic. She liked this name the most. So then she got stuck with the name. Uh. I think that's how we kept the name. Didi. Yeah, you know I mean? Yeah, mm. and she seems to know what a name is, you know. Because uh, for her, right, she when she was a kitten, she was um, injured by another cat. So maybe they play too rough or something, right? She had something on her nose, like a, like a small wound on her nose. So the, that's because the, the breeder wanted her to heal first, right? Everyone else uh, was sold already, went to new homes already. So then Delise was the last one from her real litter. So she was put in with another batch of uh, other cats whom she's not related to uh, just for that time la, to be sold. So she actually was with the breeder for a longer time. Um, and this breeder, she not only has uh, shop cats, she has her own cats, she also has dogs. She has like uh, parrots, you know. So she has a lot, a lot of animals. And they all have names. If they are staying with her, if they have a home, they have names. If they are going to be sold to somebody, they have no names. So I think somehow, she realized that, eh, how come they have names? I don't have names. No. Means that I got no home. So when we brought her home, and we test out all the names on her, right? She actually knows what we're trying to do, you know. And then she actually sort of like respond to the one that she likes. Then the one that she don't like, right? She's not going to respond. You force her also, she's not going to come. <laughs> one thing about my cat, she's very, very stubborn. When she knows, uh, when she has decided on something, she's a very stubborn cat. And, and I think um, before Stephanie met her, right? Stephanie also don't believe how clever she is, eh? Or how stubborn she is. And her memory is very good, you know, this cat. Um, compared to her so-called brother, so we, we had Dilly's first, and then because she was so difficult to train, or rather she wanted her way all the time, she was a very difficult... Um, she was housebroken really, but it was very hard to get her to socialize with us in a way that doesn't injure us. But she can be very rough, and because she's very strong-willed, right, she is very strong when she bites down, she bites down very hard. So for a cat, uh, the best way to train them is to have them in a pair or more. So after we had Didi's, right, and then she was very aggressive, the lady that we got her from recommended us to get another cat. So that's how we ended up with Dexter. For Dexter, we didn't mm. name, uh, we didn't let him choose the name because he didn't respond at all. He don't know how to choose his name. You call him whatever he will come. <laughs> 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 yeah, he, he's just, you know, as long as you call him, as long as I recognize this human who is calling me, right, I will come. You know. <laughs> he's flexible. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's very, he's very laid back like that. He knows that you are going to pet him, you understand? Mm. So he likes to be pet. So he's like, whatever you call me, then I just want the pet. You know, you call me whatever, I don't care. I just want, I just want the affection, you know. Oh, if I the pet's not for me, I also want. Yeah, yeah. If, if you call my sister, I will come also. It's okay. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. Yeah. So because of that, right, we we chose uh, Dexter's name, but we didn't choose Dilly's name. Yeah. Mm. So because Dilly's chose her name already, uh, it starts with D, right? 
so then Dexter also we decided to give her a name that starts with D because my husband is Daniel and then I'm Debbie, right? So then Dilis and then there's there's cannot be like Daniel, Debbie, Dilis, then one more some extra name, right? So we chose uh, a, a name that began with D and was easy enough for a cat to remember lah. Because you know the longer the name is, right? The harder it is. So it's mm. it's a two syllable name. Uh, it's easier for a cat to remember actually because they actually can remember sounds. It's just that uh, some cats uh, have a better response than other cats. Um, one of the names that was very, very close in line to being Delisa's name was Dixie. So D-I-X-I-E. Mm. Dixie. So, so we like that name a lot. We like that name a lot. Um, but... Uh, she's not consistent when she responds to it. Oh. So basically, we will keep that name for our next cat. Or next next cat. Yeah. Next next cat. Yeah. Because Lisa, so. she was, out of all the names, right, she was most consistent with Billy's, right? So it, it's kind of like, we just kept it long. Mm. Mm. But there were a few yes. other names that she responds to sometimes and she don't respond to at other times. You know? Yeah. Mm. So it's like, this cat also got her own this cat also has her own um preference, Mine. you know. Yeah. yeah. yeah but what the is true, not all cats are equally as intelligent as Lily's. Yeah. Stephanie uh, didn't human. really believe me until she met her, right? Small human trap is like a cat. Yeah. She's like a human being. Okay, that was a good answer. Big scene. Okay. Okay, what's your question yeah. for Susan? Um, I thought about it, but then I think she's going to object it. So I have to think no. of a new question. Well, Why don't you I try? <laughs> what, I think she's going to object. What question that you think that I object? Because I was going to ask you. can you. ask, then see. <laughs> Confirm your object one. I know your object. Ask la. Will you be I'm so planning curious. for a new child? Another child? No. Probably no, eh. Also, Due to not the age. Yeah, still answer me. Yeah. Okay, very good. Mm. What's your reason? Uh, because of the age, lah. The age of the child. If maybe I'm in a few more years younger, then maybe I, I will... Mm. But you are still young, what? Is my age not... Huh? But you are still young. No, if you, I don't, I don't want to disclose my age here. No. <laughs> Although maybe now, <laughs> I think most of them know. <laughs> mm. You don't have to disclose your age lah, but then, but then you feel that you're not young enough. Is that what I mean? Uh, I'm young to do other things, but no, maybe not for, for another child. Uh, because in order to raise up a child, is mm. I think it's not that easy. Mm. You need a lot of um, effort, the energy, and your mm. mental everything. You have to work, prepare, and work plan. Mm. Yeah, but uh, never know because sometimes you do not know what's the plan of a god. <laughs> mm. So yeah, yeah. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes the very thing we don't want will happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my phone keeps falling off. Eh. Okay. <laughs> it's very tired. It's very hard. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I cannot stand. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I'm sorry if you got DD from the camera falling. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Right. There are some things that we are not too old for, lah. I think. I think if, if, to me, right, if something happens, um, such as, like, if you dis- discover that one day you are pregnant or something, right, and then mm. I think there will be provision for that child, whether it's um, mm. your energy level, whether it's the resources, you know. So I think, right, that a lot of times we tell ourselves we cannot do it or we are very tired. Uh, and then and then right something happens and then you realize that hey, actually actually I can still do it 
you know. Or I, I, but I understand that uh, it's not an easy thing to raise a child, and it's also it's like you require a lot of stamina running after a kid and everything, right? Yeah, and also mm. the resources involved. But I do believe that, I do believe that when something good comes into our life, right? Then the resources, the circumstances, everything will line up. So it's like uh, an appointed moment, uh, an appointed time, appointed moment. Sometimes, maybe not, not, not only about giving birth or having a child or adopting or whatever, but you know, it's like sometimes we think that we're not good enough. Sometimes we think that, oh, if I have, if I have, uh, if I have a million dollars or something, then I can get something done better, you know? Mm. Or if I have like uh, more time on my hands, you know, if I have more resources on my hands, uh, then, you know, things will be easier on us, lah, right? Yeah, things might be easier, lah, okay? But I can tell you that if you don't have it, and then there's a task that comes around, but you don't have what you think that you need, right? Actually, right, you don't need it. You get what I mean? So, you can, I think, I think very early on in our partnership days, uh, just me and Steph, right? She always think about money, you know, Steph. And then she mm. always said, so little money, you know, other people got more money to start the business, you know, more money to pump in and everything. And to be fair, I never told her that her share was too little lah. I think she was the one who felt the share was too little. Right, Steph? Mm. I, I, think, I think we had this conversation many years ago. I don't know whether you remember or not. Really? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. And then I will tell her, you know, you know, yeah, some people, they start a company with millions of dollars, right? And they lose it all. And, and, and we think that that is the ideal situation because, you know, you will guarantee that your company will succeed. But it's not true, you know. Mm. There are a lot of companies who start out I think it's a dead The dead man up. <laughs> so, so, there are companies that actually start out with a very large budget. But you don't know what happens inside. They might, they might not be as smooth flowing as you think that they are. You know, like they, you think that they are smooth flowing and everything, but actually they are not. Mm. It could be that inside the company, right, there could be a lot of uh, hostility, there could be a lot of arguments, you know. So, in a way, right, we tend to think that if I have the money, I can do everything. Or if I have the resources, I can do everything. But actually, right, what you have uh, is already in your own hands. So, if let's say, I... I learned this the hard way also, la, okay? I, I learned this the hard way also. I, I wasn't born with this sort of thinking. I, I learned this the hard way as well. So, I understand why it's a challenge for most people. Um, so, last time when um, I was uh, working and everything, I always felt that, you know, my colleagues are doing better than me. Everyone is doing better than me. They are more skilled than I am also. But then, one day I realized that actually everybody uh, is just paddling underneath only. Only you can't see, I mean, you can't see their struggles. Um, you just can't see what they go through every day just to get to office, lah, you know, or just to look uh, sharp and, you know. Everybody has their own problems, actually. And if you think that, oh, you know, if I have that nice big house or, oh, if I have that nice big car, if I have that million dollars, then I'll be happy, right? Then if that day never comes, then you will never be happy, you know. Do you realize that? So your life would have just gone by really, yeah. And you may not have had the type of life that you want waiting for the life that you want. Does that make sense? Hmm. Uh, so it's kind of like you, while you are waiting for that life to happen, your, this life is going to pass by. Uh, so in a way, it's kind of like why don't you just focus on what you do have and then you know, you work your way from there. So I think Steph and I, we had this discussion a very long time ago. I don't even know whether Steph remembers it. Do you? I mm, can't remember. Yeah. So because it's like a, a lot of times we are tempted to think that we are not good enough, right? Yeah.
Okay. Shall we do a town check in? <laughs> Steph is like ready to check out. Okay, I'm there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting towels that we have today. I don't really like my towel though, but okay. Yeah, I'm neither do I. It was very black. Eh. It turned out very black. Yeah, I shaded quite dark today. But in a way, it's quite nice also. It's very different but I did like... Normal. I did like the little detail I added to Bobbin. The little sewing thread. Running along with it. Can you hold it still? Bills cannot see me. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, then I'm looking at Susan. What are you doing, Susan? Uh, are you going to tangle the yeah, entire yeah. outside? Yeah, I think so. Because mm. I, I found that it's quite empty, a lot of spaces. Mm, mm, mm. At first, I thought... So, your... it's either I'll fill up with the colours or, like, quite... Mm. At first, mm. I thought your bobbin would be like butterfly. The two. Oh, yeah, these two is yeah, like yeah, butterfly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I look like jelly candy. <laughs> nice. Why do you always get your food? The boy. No, yours, yours look like a present with a bow on it. No, oh, but you see, one was talking about, someone was talking about ice cream. Who ah? Uh? Yes, and then, Susan. No, someone is talking about candy. Who ah? Uh? Who ah? Uh? <laughs> yeah, who ah? Uh? It's common and it is... Um, because it's every day we candy. eat, right? Mm, mm, mm. No. Mm. Three meals. I don't eat candy and I don't eat ice cream. I, I, I didn't eat candy. You say it's common every day chocolate. we eat, eh? Food, food is common. Huh? Food. Oh. Mm. Food is common, yes. Oh. Like that, ah. Okay, la, since, since I gave you a very difficult question that... It made you a bit awkward. Then I let you give me back one question, okay, Susan? <laughs> I'm hey, fair. Thinking of question also not easy, you know. <laughs> well, you all, like that also okay, Sam, 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 okay, Sam, Sam, do you want want to ask ask the question on behalf of me? Okay. You want me to ask? What's the message? Huh? Huh? Sam, you any question you want to ask Debbie? Yo, it's a what? You can ask. I give you the, the so permission. Full <laughs> <laughs> so nonsense. Steph, Steph, you answer back. Uh. I ask her back. See, she gave you ask one her. question to ask. Uh, then you so ask, ask her. Ask her. Wait, I, I already <laughs> answered cool two questions. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot, not fair. Yeah, thank you. Cannot accept. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, what's the reason you know, if you think a question is so right. difficult? The potential yeah. intern may not want to reply <laughs> after we're listening to this show. Yeah, man. I have yeah, to man. answer question at the one. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Having a child or not having a child is a very personal decision. Uh. Mm. Yeah. I, I yeah. have uh, family members who don't want children. Like, I mean, my cousins, I have a few cousins who don't want children. And of course, there are mixed reactions in the family uh, because uh, we are Asian, right? So, it's like there's a pressure to have children. Uh. So, children are a very personal decision. Mm. It's just that it's just that when I uh, asked uh, Susan, right, it's because it's because I would be very happy for her you see, if she were in that position of uh, welcoming another child. Because I think among the three of us, right, I think, like, okay, she has the best parenting skills. I don't think so, eh. <laughs> yeah, this sort of thing you cannot see for yourself. I don't want to see. <laughs> right or so. No, no parent will think that they're the best parent, la. Yeah. We always will have insecurities. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's why you need support from, from people who care about you because, you know, mm. it's a very lonely job, eh. Mm. 
Yeah, it's a very lonely job. I I have a question for Daddy. Ayo. Okay. Okay. okay I okay, thought okay. about it. So so okay. recently in, in Debbie's house, she has detops. Then the detops are dying. Putting, cause cause the yeah, not all the place. La. Not all la, but some of them are dying. Then the it's because the detox. It's like all oh, of them are dying, you know. No, no, not all of them are dying. <laughs> Most of them are in very good shape. But it's because the detox next to the window. Then sometimes, you know, in Singapore, tropical weather, sometimes the rain would come into the the house. Then no, actually, you don't, you don't close the window. Uh, what happened? It's not just rain coming in. Eh. It's, it's acid rain. Hmm. I think Susan had this problem also. Then Susan's sleep thoughts had the problem first. And then I told Susan it could be acid rain. Then now that my sleep thoughts have the same issue, right, I think it's confirmed that it's acid rain. Because last time, right, uh, if my sleep thoughts were in the rain, they didn't react like that. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, continue, please. So, so my question is, if you had like perfect conditions where you're guaranteed that the plant, that you, the new plant that you get will, will survive and be healthy and be, be happy, what plant will you get? Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to order in a plant for Daniel's birthday. So okay. I just confirm it with him, eh, like maybe two days ago. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but it won't come in time for his birthday. La. It'll be a bit later, yeah, yeah, yeah. but... Uh, we already decided on the next plan already. So I very, I'm very happy that you asked this question because I got the answer already. <laughs> <laughs> and how? You're not planned? Not planned? You already made answer already. Yeah, okay. very good. Yeah. So, so, have you heard of what a Hoya plan is? A Goya plan? <laughs> Hoya! <laughs> oh, the one... I like it. Eh. How to spell? How you, okay, I type, I type in chat. I type in chat. H-O-Y-A. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you choose this plant. Oh, that's nice. Hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah, one question. Become three questions. Become four oh. questions. For visual... Yeah, Hoya. <laughs> okay, so Hoya plants are very, very unique plants. Um, their flowers are very, very unique. Yeah, yeah I, I know how to explain. Yeah, that, it that looks like a juicy like. sakura. To you. Uh-huh, what? A juicy sakura. Juicy sakura. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, so we decided to get mm. uh, a Hoya for his birthday. Actually, the Litox, right? Actually, mm. originally, the Litox were purchased last year for his birthday also. Yeah. So, this year, we will get him a Hoya, Hoya plant. I mm. am a bit worried about the Hoya plant because the Hoya actually requires full sunlight. Oh. And sometimes yeah. so, um, we need... Huh? Sometimes you have rainy weather because you tropical climate. Yeah, so I think uh, we will have to probably think on how to do it. Mm. But I think it's not impossible because I have friends who actually had uh, successful uh, Hoya oh, yes. flowering. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. so I, I will go and read out on that. I haven't found um, a supplier yet, uh, but I will uh, because I have a lot of friends who are into this sort of thing so it won't be difficult it's just that it won't come on time oh hmm. yeah wow. plant I'm very happy I got a ready made answer Hoya yeah plant symbolize wealth and protection that's nice hmm. I didn't know that millennials believe in all these things <laughs> Daniel go and, go and type in check so yeah <laughs> Soya plant. Mm. We can can have soya bean milk every day. <sighs> Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, to recap what we did today, basically we did a lot of nonsense. But what we tangled today. Was... Very embarrassing. <laughs> we we use a string made out of the letter B. So Susan said you can use capital or small letter B. 
there are some ideas you can of course interpret it in your own way and then we use the Tango Bobbin by Jodi Genovis who's a CZT yeah, you should, you should um, watch the start of the recording where Debbie breaks down how to draw the Tango it's a lot easier to understand when you watch her draw yeah you can find a recording of this session on our Instagram at 7 Forest 5 Rivers or on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash 7F5R Studio. Yeah, please, if you tangle along with us, do post your tiles in the 7F5R Challenge group on Facebook. You can go to this link or search 7F5R Challenge directly in the Facebook search bar. Now you can find us on social media also, Instagram. Uh, at tangled.pursuits, that's where you'll find Debbie at susanyo.czt, that's where you'll find Susan, and I am at halfpen underscore will draw. Yeah, we, we stream live every Wednesdays, 2.45pm Singapore time. And of course, if you can't make it live, uh, the recordings will always be available on our Instagram and on our YouTube. Yeah, we're also planning to start streaming on Mondays as well, 2.45pm, mm, something new. Do uh, keep an eye on uh, at Seven Forest Five Rivers Instagram page to get to know when will next be live. Yeah, Susan, Debbie, anything to say before we close? Thank you for listening to us. I think this was one of the most random uh, Wednesdays we've had like so mm. far. Okay, goyak plan. See you next week. Oh yeah. Go oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, I think we I think we should go. We're starting to be very, very random. <laughs> All right, we hope to see you guys next week. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.